So as you can see, this upload file is not your own. And the reason being that there are some hidden codes that you can use to build out this upload file so that you can upload anything on ChatGPT to analyze your data or any PDF file you have or any Excel file. ChatGPT has gone beyond just ordinary AI tool that you can just ask questions. It cannot analyze data. It can do a lot of things for you. It can analyze codes. It can write codes for you. Programmers are now using it to get codes, to debug codes. Researchers are now using it for data analysis. As a data analyst, you should be able to, you know, effectively use ChatGPT for data analysis. So, for instance, if I want to write a business plan for my business now, and I need to get it done in one hour, what are the things I'm supposed to do? The first thing you are supposed to do is to apply your business plan. If you know the outlines of the business plan, like the way I mentioned it the other time in this presentation, it's fine. You can work with your outline, or you can ask ChatGPT to write an outline for you. So I, I don't want to stress myself too much because I already have some prompts here. So, I'm just going to copy the prompt here. Create a simple business plan outline for a business that bought tech hub. And ICT company. Watch the magic. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? You see that business plan outline for double tech call, executive summary, under the executive summary, what's supposed to be there? It's outlined it. Company description, products and services, market analysis, marketing assist strategy, operations and management, financial projections risk assessment and mitigation, implementation plan, conclusion. You know, remember, this is a basic outline for your business plan. You should further expand and customize each section according to your specific business requirements. As I can see, there are so many things you can do with ChatGPT. Isn't this beautiful? Is this not beautiful? I'm sure that you, this is already blowing your mind now. So after you get the outline, then you start picking the points one after the other. So there are some points that you need to put inside it and to get it for you. You can say that it should help you to write your mission statement. You can say that write a very detailed mission statement for Double Tech Hub an ICT company that offers web design, web design, and digital marketing. Mission statements. Can you see the power in digital success? For instance, some people don't have mission statement. ChatGPT can help you to write it the way it is written here. As for me, this mission statement is too long. All that I just need to do is summarize it. I can just say that Write a detailed mission statement for double tech talk, blah, blah, blah. In just two sentences. As you can see, it has summarized it. At double tech talk, our mission is to deliver transformative digital experiences through our expertise in web design, web design and digital marketing, happy businesses and the power of technology to achieve their goals and stand out in the world. We are committed to providing, so you can choose any one of them. We are committed to providing innovative solutions, exceptional creativity and understanding. 
So for anyone here, just drop your business. Let's create a mission statement for you. Somebody said they don't know how to, you know, open an account with uh, OpenAI. All you we'll just do is go to openai.com and open an account. It's very easy. Has somebody said Gwen Consultancy is my business name? What do you do at Gwen Consultancy? What do you do at Gwen Consultancy? Hello, are you there? Emmanuel. Hello, Emmanuel. Okay. Okay. It says we process bar certificates and the likes. Please save all your questions to the end. So you cannot say, guys. A very detailed uh, mission statement for brain consultancy. We possess in just a sentence. Let's see the power of ChatGPT now. Mission statement said, at Great Consultancy, our mission is to streamline and facilitate essential documentation processes, such as bus advocates, passports, and travel opportunities, empowering individuals to navigate the bureaucracy uh, procedures, blah, blah, blah. So Great Consultancy, if you don't have a mission statement, ChatGPT has helped you to create one this evening. So I have sent you at Brain Consultancy. You already have a mission statement. So it's very simple. You can see that it has customized it for you. For any business, it can do this for any form of business. So now let's go to other points. I'm just trying to show you some little, little things that ChatGPT can do for you. When you, for instance, now. Let's say I'm at Brain Consultancy. Provide an example of a business case suggesting this at Brain Consultancy. Suggesting we should spend 20 million dollars to expand our consulting consulting business. So we are now at financial projections. Like, for instance, now if you want to apply for a loan, let's say you want to apply for a loan of 20 million. As you can see, can you see, can you see the way it's writing all these things? And somebody is telling me that, some people are telling me that it's not possible to write a full business plan in one hour with ChatGPT. I'm very sure that you can see for yourself now. You said that expanding brain consultancy consulting business. Objective, the objective of this case is to propose an investment of 20 million naira to expand great consultancy consulting business, aiming to capitalize on good opportunities. There is now further broke it down, market opportunity, increased service of offerings, competitive advantage, revenue generation, enhanced expertise, scale and efficiency. Then it's not said that ROI and financial projections, a detailed financial analysis and projection based on market research, estimated clients, acquisition, blah, blah, blah. That the 20 million investor is expected to hit a strong investment within a reasonable time. So if you feel like, okay, this response is not okay by you, all I just to do is click on, you generate response. So 
So it will give you another response. Can you see? Can you see? So after you are done, let's assume that you are not satisfied. So you can just click on continue. It will continue from where it stopped. I'm sure this is already blowing up your mind. You can see the opportunities that chat GPT can offer now. Then let's go to more financial projections. Let's assume I want to create a detailed five years forecast for my business, Zappo Tech Hub, with an average growth rate of 20% yearly and an average of that value of 20,000 euros. Can you see detailed five years forecast for Zappo Tech Hub? Average value. And the is telling me that it's not possible to use ChatGPT to create a business mind one hour. Can you see, it gives me, you know, based on the prompt I gave it, it gave me detailed five years financial projection. Year one, year two, year three, year four, year five. And if you feel like, okay, you want in tabular form, all you just need to do is create in tabula you see the magic that will happen now can you see can you see can you see what's happening can you see what's happening? I hope this is blowing your mind. <laughs> I hope this is blowing up your mind. So all we just to do is, if you want to copy this table, just copy it like this. You can either copy it to Excel or your Word document and just come like this. Can you see? This is what ChatGPT gave you. Simple as ABC. Let's use another prompt. I'm just trying to see, give you. Okay. So it's this thing are limitless. So let's let's now go to research writing. So this is the way we are going to use ChatGPT to create. You know, a full business plan, you know, writing your from starting from your executive summary, company distribution, products and services, marketing assist strategy, operations plan, financial plan. There are so many prompts that you can use. You know, so, so, so many prompts that you can use. I'm um, inputting ChatGPT just to make sure that you have the right information at hand. So you just wait till the end of this class and see what we have For those in the academic session, or in the academic sector, let me say sector, or for students, for students, for researchers, consultants, in the universities and the like, or researchers, you can also use ChatGPT you know, to write a full research, a full thesis, a dissertation. There are some things you just have to follow. All we just to do is instead of okay, ChatGPT doesn't give 
uh, with references, it doesn't do this, it is biased, blah, blah, blah. You cannot use it if you plagiarize. The first thing I think you need to do is to get, first and foremost, get your, download your PDF files or your whatever you want to use for your tuition review. Just make sure that you get them from the internet. So after getting them, you now upload it on ShareGPT. So once you upload this, you can tell ShareGPT to give you a summary of that file. So once it gives you a summary of that file, you know, you are good to go. So you just know that, okay, whatever this thing you get from the internet, from the, whatever file you downloaded, is what is going to, you are going to use as your reference. And you can also always make reference. So that one has notified the factor that it can give you references. Or after you finish using ChatGPT, you can now locate the references elsewhere. Just go and look for references that correlate with what ChatGPT gives you. And you are good to go. Then for your plagiarism and all that, for because there are some Investing now using, you know, to detect, uh, using some software to detect AI content. So there are some software students, and there are some things too that you can do to make sure that you notify this effect. All just to do is copy your content, do this stuff, this software, and it is going to erase the, you know, the AI content there, and it's going to paraphrase it for you. And Creebot is one of such. We have turned it in. There are so many. After ChatGPT has written your stuff for you, it's not left for you to go over your research, your what ChatGPT has written for you, one after the other. I'm telling you that you can use ChatGPT you know, to write your thesis in one hour. So after it has written for you, the next thing for you is not left for you to sit down and read through what ChatGPT has given you, and you start editing them to suit your taste. I make sure that you, you rephrase what shall GPT do? You do some software. So, so that that one will notify the effect of plagiarism. So now, for instance, I like, want to write a research and you have a topic. You can say that, okay, for instance, write a four paragraph introduction on a research topic. Okay, let's, let's start with this. Give me three topics on power security in poetry value share. I'm just using poetry as an example, but you can use it for any form of research. Can you see it's giving you topics? Topics. So you might say that, can you see the topics you give? You say that, Bar security parties for disease preparation put you. The top, this topic delves into specific, but it even explain for that what the topic is all about. Imagine technologies in poultry bar security. This topic explores the uses of innovative technologies, blah, blah, blah. So you can see that write a four paragraph introduction on a research topic titled Importance of Bar Security in Poultry Valuation System. Once I press enter, Says introduction, the poultry industry plays a vital role in global production, blah, blah, blah. So those of you arguing with me that, okay, you can use ChatGPT to write your research in one hour or do your business plan, you know, I can see that you can see what ChatGPT can do now. What it can write within a few minutes, the number of words it can write, the number of sentences it can write within a few minutes. Imagine I'm to start writing these things one after the other. Maybe just this few four paragraphs now. It can take me like, let's say, 30 minutes or one hour to write it. And Shadi Bitty wrote this for me in less than, maybe within 10 seconds, it has written this for me. So it gave me introduction. The poultry industry plays a vital role in global food production, providing a significant resource of protein for mass consumption. However, the industry is constantly threatened by the blah, blah, blah. 
So you can even streamline it to a particular place of study. Maybe your place of study is in the United States. The reason I'm using the United States is that over there, in all these advanced countries, they have uh, adequate data. And ChatGPT works with uh, another here to work with. They work with data. Let's try Nigeria. No, just keep writing, just keep giving it different prompts. Let's say at the end of your a pitch, you can ask the activity to give you a PowerPoint presentation. I hope you can still hear me. I hope you can still hear me loud and clear. Okay. Can you see? Can you see? It says, I'm sorry, but as an AI text, AI model, I'm unable to create PowerPoint presentation directly. However, I can provide you with an outline of a PowerPoint presentation in process of poetry or bar security in the poetry validation system. Is that slide one, introduction? This is what you're going to put into your slide one, slide two, slide three, slide four, slide five, slide six, slide seven, slide eight. You know? You don't even need to start uh, cracking your brains. All you just have to do is open Canva and start pasting this point in Canva. Either I want to use for business speech, either I want to use for uh, academic research uh, presentation, just open your Canva and start pasting these things there one after the other. You start pasting it there one after the other. I'm seeing that you. this is really blowing up your mind. Okay. So now I'm going to show you how to use it for data analysis. This feature that I, this feature of a profile that you are seeing here, there's a way you can bring it out. Like this feature automatically, this feature is available in ChatGPT uh, Plus. That's the ChatGPT 4. That's the paid version. But I'm telling you that in ChatGPT 3, you can actually, you know, use this for data analysis. All we just to do is bring out the hidden codes so that I can give you this upload file option. Now, for example, like I want to upload this file. So I already have a, an Excel file here. So I'm going to upload the Excel file. It contains some data and likes. Can you see? Can you see? 
everything written inside the exam file, it bots it out. It's not said that the provided document is an exam sheet, special title analysis sample. The spreadsheet contains one sheet named sheet one. The sheet consists of tables with various columns representing employee information, including blah, blah, blah. So it, it mentioned everything inside it. So all we're just to do is that, based on your findings in the exec file, suggest the kind of operations and data visualizations that can be performed. Let's say, so this kind of analysis. the exact file. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see that the person that doesn't know how to use ChatGPT is losing a lot? As a data analyst, it's something you really need. Can you see? See that based on the data provided in the exact file, Several types of analysis and data visualizations can be performed to gain insight and understand different aspects of the employee data. Workforce demographics analysis, analyze the gender and the industry, create pie charts or backgrounds to visually, to visually represent the gender and ethnicity. Let's try, instead of employee distribution department, age distribution and employee tenure, salary and analysis comprising, Geography analysis, bonus analysis. So we can say that perform workforce can you see? So based on the file, it gave out, you know, you see that on that gender research that we have May 11, females 9, because I uploaded 20 contacts, 20 data. You see that according to ethnicity, Asian, 10 employees, Latino, six employees, Blacks, one employee. You know, we can also go to, Salary and analysis comparison. Perform. Can you see? So it's saying that your data is not completed. That's the reason why it's writing not available, not available. But if you have a comprehensive data and you upload it there, it's going to give it to you. Like it's going to calculate all these things. Mean salary not provided in the given data, median salary not provided. So if your data is provided, it's going to give it to you. Do you get my point? So the these functionalities are limitless. I can see that analyze. A lot of, because this is a sample data, so a lot of things are not available in the data. So that's this why it's giving you some stuff that, that are not available there. But I'm just trying to tell you, I'm just trying to show you how you can use these things. So let's, look, let's go to another thing. Okay. For instance, if I want to upload this file, let's assume that I want to upload this file.
I want to upload this PDF file. I will show you the PDF file now. So this PDF file, I copied it for the purpose of this class from start to start. Can you see? So that is what, that's what you are seeing here. So after uploading it, it now summarized all the file name. You said that file name. So I've got you in Nigeria. Page one. It gave me everything inside the document. It's where it has broken into parts. So if I want to use this document, I can just say give and give. I can thank him. I can say that thank you. Give an abstract of what is written in the PDF file. So as you can see, can you see, it summarizes it for me. Can you see? Can you see? So the functionalities are limitless, very, very limitless. You just have to know how to give it the right prompts. Yeah, somebody said that can this perform data cleaning? Yes, it can perform data cleaning. Somebody said, how can we enable file uploading on chat GP3? You just have to, you know, you just have to hold on. So after showing all those things, let me go back to my slide. Can you see my slide? Can you see my slide? Okay. So we soon be true. I want us to be true by 9.30. So I said that for teachers, ideas to help students use AI tools effectively. If you are a teacher, introduce AI tool to your student. Adopt AI tool that can help students with their language learning, translation, software speech, recognition software, or writing tools. Provide support for them. Teach students these tools and offer tips or step-by-step -step instructions to use them more efficiently, monitor their works, and give them feedback. Encourage critical thinking. Encourage students to question the accuracy and fairness of AI tools, power writing tools, or translation. You know, keep up to date. Teachers need to have their fingers on the pulse and find new tools and resources that can benefit their students. Students, teachers should, you know, be ready to take advantage of these tools in learning. They can use to teach their students and also use it also for their own personal learning. So they should encourage students to start using them in the schools. But there are ways to use it, like the way I have taught you this evening. There are other there are ways to use it. You just have to learn more, go more, advance more on it. And it's really going to benefit you in the long run and make your work faster and your teaching methods to be you know effective, more effective. So now I have an offer for you this evening. For entrepreneurs and business owners, I'll be holding the master class next week. And the master class is going to show you how to write a comprehensive and standard business plan using ChatGPT in one hour. As you can see, the functionalities of ChatGPT they are limitless, you know, but there are ways to go about these things and use them effectively. So I'm going to be showing you this in this master class. 
In this masterclass, masterclass you will get first hand access to my secret, allowing you to write a professional business plan yourself without hiring any consultants. I will give you access to the craziest chat GPT prompts for any business plan. You know, the, the chat uh, GPT prompts that you can use to develop your business plan in one hour. How to you know, develop those business plan. You can develop 20 pages, you can develop 30 pages. Depending on the number of pages you want, I'm going to give you the kind of the right prompts that you need to input for your financial projections, for your executive summary, for your products and services, for your marketing plan, and everything you know to develop your comprehensive business plan in one hour. It is, you know, it's the same point for all businesses. How to write simple financial models using ChatGPT. You see the exact business plan strategies I have used in winning ten thousand dollars business grants plus receiving other five grants award nominations. I was how I was able to secure two business loan using my blueprint over the last five years. After this training, you two you able to gain other clients who will need your services. That is available. You can start me monthly on freelance site and other you know can get private gifts. You also have a bonus of free Facebook marketing course and exact financial projections. You know, you have a template where that you can edit to your tastes. Therefore, academicians, students, and researchers, I'm going to teach you. I also have a class for you next week on how to write a full research paper using ChatGPT in one hour. In this master class, you will get first hand access to my secrets on how to craft a comprehensive and well researched dissertation or thesis in little time that is widely accepted by your readers. You have access to my to the craziest ChatGPT font for any research that I want to use, how to upload files in ChatGPT 3, how to clean up your work and avoid plagiarism, how to upload files in ChatGPT with the information that, how to get good references for your research work, how you to do this thing, you know, for you to have a comprehensive research that is widely accepted, how you can publish them. After this training, you'll be able to gain other clients to who will need your writing services and start any full cash. I've been using AI to write business plan since 29, no, December last year. Yeah, December last year. I've been using it for business plan for academic works and other things for research purposes. And I've been handing cool cash every month. I don't want to be seeing figures here, but something you two can replicate and do yourself. Just attend this my master class. So you know, the business class value, the business class is valued at $100. Research paper writing class is valued at $100. Business grant writing is valued at $50. My Facebook marketing course is valued at $50. Financial projections template is valued at $25. Total value is $325. But that's not the amount you're going to be paying this evening. There are three types of people. Those who watch things happen, and those who wonder what happened, and the first set, last set of people are those who make things happen. Which category are you going to are you going to fall in this evening? Are you going to start making things happen right now, or you are going to fold your hands and watch things happen and wonder how it's happening? You know the way we are doing now. We are using this truth now. Some people are still looking like, okay, what is happening? What is happening? Here? But if you are still wondering and you are just looking, but if you really want to make things happen, you need to take action now. I'm telling you that for my master class, you are not going to pay 100,000. You won't pay 50,000. You are not going to pay 30,000. You are not going to pay 20,000. You are not going to pay 10,000. 